Have you ever heard of invisible solar panels? Well, I had neither until I read about this amazing new technology. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans. And you know what? I'm a massive fan of solar energy, especially for places like, well, planet Earth. I mean, solar is just brilliant. If you look at the fact that the cost of solar has come down 30% this year, it's actually the cheapest form of energy on the planet right now for 90% of the world's population. Most of the world's population lives in the Sun Belt. That means the hottest places on Earth, Africa, India, Southeast Asia, you get the point. But in many places, people see solar panels as an eyesore. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if you could have your roof covered in solar panels, but no one would see it or know about it? Invisible solar panels retain heritage and boost sustainability. Now, two innovative photovoltaic technologies from Diaqua and Tagola Canadese effectively introduce renewable energy to historical sites and or well, anywhere else as well, while protecting architecture and heritage or just the design of your home. In Pompeii, millions of tourists visit every year to see the ruins left by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The Pompeii Archaeological Park preserves more than just this history. It provides a modern look into the ancient life of a Roman town from over 2,000 years ago. The park has chosen to install solar panels disguised as terracotta tiles to match the existing architecture without disrupting the appearance to protect this experience. These tiles are in many ways very similar to Tesla's solar tiles. And they're an impressive, sustainable alternative to poles and cables. The decision allows them to introduce sustainable development while still keeping some parts of the city fully preserved, according to the Archaeological Park's director, Gabriel Zuktajel. As the park requires extensive lighting, the tiles present an incredibly cost-efficient opportunity and preferred alternative to adding electricity, poles, and cables to the landscape. If you ever watched the Tour de France, the Giro d'Italia, or the Vuelta, the grand tours for cycling, you see the cyclists ride through these, these towns, these old historical towns. They're dotted all over Europe. How many solar panels do you see on roofs when you see those videos, of the, or when you watch them? Not that many. Heritage in a lot of towns through Europe a lot of places in the world is considered very, very important. They use terracotta tiles on millions and millions of these homes in these culturally significant areas. This is where hundreds of millions of people currently live, in these areas where you don't want to stand out. You don't want to look unusual. It's often illegal to paint your house in a different color to every other, every other home in that city. This is a solution to that. The unique solar panels were created and patented by Diaqua, a family business in Vincenzo in Vincentino, Italy, started by the Battista family and now have two employees. Now, Giovanni Battista came up with the idea for visible solar after designing LED lamps, resembling common building materials to make public lighting more pleasing to the eye. The invisible solar voltaic roof tile was created to help historic centers find a solution for installing solar while maintaining the architecture. The tiles are built using a non-toxic recyclable polymer layer that allows sunlight to filter through to a layer of photovoltaic underneath. The top layer can be designed to look like several building materials, stone, wood, concrete, or brick, allowing the tiles to be installed on walls and floors in addition to roofs. And it's interesting that this technology is coming out in Italy. Clearly, there's a need for this kind of technology. Clearly, there's many people who don't want solar panels sticking out on their roofs, or maybe they're not even allowed to have them. Having these, no one would even know that your entire roof is solar powered. In 2015, Invisible Solar was recognized by the Ministry of Cultural Heritage in Italy for its impact on improving energy efficiency in cultural heritage. Diaqua has partnered with many local councils in renewable energy, but limited by artistic or architectural constraints it had many challenges. The solar tiles will soon be installed at Maxi, Rome's Contemporary Art Museum. They will also be installed on public buildings in Split, Croatia, Evora in Portugal, along with Elkmar in the Netherlands. 
amongst many other locations across Europe. Evora is another city similar to Pompeii because it has very visible and unique architecture. While it would be possible to paint solar panels to help them blend into the roofs, doing so would drastically reduce their energy efficiency. Now the company that's installing these panels all over Europe, no one's really talking about this, but I think this is massively important technology for Europe and it actually works. It's been in place now for more than 12 months across many historically important sites all around Europe. Incredibly, this technology called Tigo Solar is made from more traditional roofing material and more closely resembles modern shingles. Unlike most rooftop solar panels, Tigo Solar does not protrude from the roof and cannot be seen from the road. It is also resistant to high winds and is less dependent on the sun's location. The challenge of not damaging historic sites or buildings while introducing options for renewable energy also led to highly innovative technological solutions. Invisible Solar and Tigo Solar have become crucial components to conserving heritage sites all around Europe. I can really see these solar panels working as a mass market solution. Once this company is able to ramp up and make more and more of these, the price will be able to come down. I mean, imagine if they were installing these on millions of roofs every year. It would make the price economically feasible. Would you consider having this as an alternative? I personally would. I personally would much prefer my entire roof covered with solar tiles that look like normal tiles, but they're actually solar panels. Now, I know a lot of people think that this is inefficient. However, it appears as though it's working very, very well at these historical locations in Europe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.